Today we're going to have a pizza party. So my son has some friends over, so we're going to have a big pizza party. Uh, we've got the alcoholic drink in, and now we need some non-alcoholic drinks. And today we're going to be making bubble tea. Bubble tea. So tell us, tell everybody about bubble tea. <laughs> so bubble tea is a bit of a rising trend at the moment. Um, it's come over from Asia, and it's made using tapioca balls normally. Um, basically, it's just tea with little jelly-like balls of different flavour tea at the bottom. Um, but today we're not going to use tapioca, and, which is made from the root of the, cassava ro um, of the cassava plant and sweet potato and things like that. We're going to do it a little bit simpler and we're going to use agar. So agar agar you can get from Amazon for about £5 for a tub of 100 grams. And it's really handy stuff, it's very simple. So today we're going to make apple, apple tea with cranberry bubbles in it and to make the cranberry bubbles it will take two ingredients in about 10 minutes. Right, and we're, we're doing this because it's simple isn't it? Yes, so, simple Nick. <laughs> so we're, we're doing cranberry bubbles in apple juice. Mm -hmm. so or what, apple tea. Oh apple tea, sorry yeah, you want apple tea nice and lighter. So what mm -hmm. do we want? We want so a cup of... Three quarters of a cup of cranberry juice. Okay. Very nice three quarters? Yeah, I, I'd say so. It's a okay. mug, so it's a bit bigger. Put that in there in a saucepan. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in a sachet of... Agar, agar. So this is just a two gram sachet. So if you're doing it at home from a big, um, a big tub, just weigh out two grams. You don't need much at all. Okay, so I put that in there. And what do I do now? Just mix that in? Just mix it until it dissolves. Okay, I think that's dissolved. Mix it a little bit more, I think. All right, so that's not dissolved then. <laughs> okay. You need to. You really want to make sure it's properly dissolved because otherwise you'll get lumps of very hard jelly and then not quite set other lumps. Right. Okay. All right. I was just checking, making sure we we're recording. Actually, I was thinking, oh no, would it be bad? So that's recording. Right. Anyway. So look, is that okay? Yeah, I'd say so. You can just stir it while it's heating. Okay. So let's. I've got my little stove here, so we're going to put that on. Let me just turn the temperature up. So we're now gonna heat this up until it's boiling. So we just zoom on, join us in a second once we've got it uh, heated. <laughs> this has now come to the boil, so I gotta be, what temperature did you say? Greater than 85. Greater than 85. That's degrees, not Fahrenheit. Oh yeah. And we are... Oh, below it now. But we were greater. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we are, sorry. It's because I took it's because I took it out of thing. <laughs> so, we got the right temperature. Let's turn this off. Yep, turn it off. Okay, now what? So this oil we've had in the freezer for about an hour, would you say? Hour and a half? Oh, yeah. The point is it has to be cold oil because this is going to help it set. Don't worry, you don't actually drink the oil or you wash it off afterwards, basically. And you can reuse it to make more bubble tea. And... Personally, I'd normally use a taller, thinner glass, but I'm just using this one because it's a bit easier to see on the camera. Right, cool. Just cheap oil. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So now what? So now... Is it, is that, can that be seen in the camera? I will hold this up, shall I? Okay. <laughs> Make it easier for people to see. Sure. So what are we doing now? We just... So now, if you have a pipette, just a common or garden pipette, you take a bit of the solution up into it, and you pipette it in. So what's happening at the moment is that it is hot and a liquid as it goes in. But when it reaches the cold oil... That's good, it's, it's on the top there. I think nothing's happening there, Annabelle. Well. And now <laughs> it's all dropping down. That's really cool. Yeah. So um, as it enters the cold oil, it starts to solidify. And because it was a liquid as it entered, it retains its spherical shape. But by the time it reaches the bottom of the glass, it will be a solid now. Yeah, try and do some bigger ones. See, like one where you did a double together. Yeah, like, like that, that one. Yeah, because yeah, traditionally bubble tea is quite a bit bigger than this. Yeah, okay. But we don't have the proper bubble tea straws, so these are ones that will fit up our straws. But to make bigger drops, you can either do several drops together at once, like I'm doing now, or you can use a bigger hole at the end of your pipette world's your oyster. You can even decide to do a few small ones, a few bigger ones for effect. 
<laughs> Get some more in there, that looks really cool. Alright, let me stop the film and then we'll mm -hmm. come back when you've done them all in, yeah? Sure. This is, uh, this looks really good. I know, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> It's so simple. <laughs> right, hold on a second. We've got a nice lot in here now. Oh, hope you can see them all coming down the glass. I hope they. <laughs> right, let's leave it at. So, I won't drink this now. Gosh, no. <laughs> what was the next steps? What so, the next steps is we're going to drain off the oil. Okay. Um, probably back into there so we can reuse it. Okay and then we'll just wash them with cold water and the bubbles are done okay well let's let's we won't show the video of us draining it well all we do is we'll put a um what do you call it funnel funnel that's the one funnel there <laughs> and, and a sieve a sieve yep and then once we got that we just run that under the tap so yep let's come back in the film when we got them into the sieve and then we just put them under the tap in the mm -hmm. sink yeah so here's our bubbles mm -hmm. so we're now ready to put this in tea yep we're now okay. ready to make our tea. Okay, let's move back outside. We've now washed and cleaned our, um, what do you call them? Pearls. Pearls. <laughs> <laughs> and we made ourselves a nice cup of apple tea. Would you like to explain to me how we made a cup of apple tea? Oh yeah, we took a tea bag and then we put it in the cup and then we added some <laughs> boiling water. Yeah, that was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> so that's apple tea. Some people like to do it with iced tea. It's a preference thing. Oh yeah. So, you could quite imagine doing maybe a peach iced tea with passion fruit flavour pearls, that sort of thing. Up to you. <laughs> Go on, Anne. Do you want to um, tell me what you need to do now? Well, it's very simple. You take your pearls. Can they see the pearls? I don't know. Can you see the pearls? Yeah, on in. Let's see. Uh, and oh, and they all just drop to the bottom, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because they're a bit more dense than the water, so they'll drop to the bottom. All right, okay. Oh, I don't put any more in for it. How much do you put in normally? Uh, normally you fill it about a third, quarter, halfway. Okay. So. Okay, that's about nearly half. Yeah. And uh, what do you do now then? So normally you have a thick straw and you put it in and you drink it. And as you drink your tea, the bubbles come up with the tea. And so you get a burst of the two flavours in your mouth. Oh, we've got no... Okay, we haven't got a straw, have we? We've so... got six straws in the utility room, I think. Okay. Hold on a second, we're going to get thick straws. <laughs> Not quite as big a straw as I thought it was going to be. But if one must demonstrate... Are they coming up the straws, are they? <laughs> yeah, try it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, just keep your thing at the bottom. Yeah, try it. Oh, that's bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> it's like getting lots of bits banging on your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> so and you then, get um, the flavour of the apple tea, and at the same time you keep getting hit by flavours of cranberry. And you get all the bits. Oh yeah, when you actually bite into them. Mm. The trouble is, you can um, you can just swallow them without taking. Because I wasn't getting the flavour. When flavor. they're bigger, when they're bigger, you can't. <laughs> yeah. But I think the key thing is, once you start taking up the straw, you get the bits on your tongue, you need to crush them to get the flavour. Because mm. I was doing that, I was thinking, it's not very strong flavour, can okay? even now. <laughs> hmm. Oh, sorry. So that <laughs> is, there we are, you can finish that. So that, that, that is bubble tea. Um, so that's our non-alcoholic drink for the for the pizza party. So we're <laughs> going to make a few more of these different flavours. So we just done cranberry and apple. What are we going to do? Peach and... Passion fruit. Passion fruit, peach. Yeah, we've got a passion fruit liqueur, have we? Yes. That doesn't sound very non-alcoholic, actually. But anyway, we won't go into that. Well, I was thinking of doing a pina colada one. Yeah, yeah, pina colada. Anyway, <laughs> lots of options. Lots of options. You, you make up your own mind. So, um, right, that's it, really. So, the usual thing. So, if you enjoyed watching this video and want to see more of these, then please subscribe to my <laughs> channel. And, um, well, that's it, really. So, thank you for viewing. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> So, a classic Marvel video, so you've got to wait to the end. When you think it's finished, there's another part of the video. The end credits. The end credits. <laughs> so it's now four days on from when we made the last video. And so we've been playing around, and now we've just made ourselves a mojito. Mojito. <laughs> oh, do you want to explain what we do with a mojito? Mm-hmm. So we've made a classic mojito, but the balls that you can see in the bottom there 
our lime and mint flavour. So same thing, we just used a liquid and mixed it with agar, but we made our own lime and mint juice. So the way we did it is we got some mint leaves, crushed them up, added some boiling water, a dash of lime juice, sieved off the mint leaves, and then um, heated it to 85 degrees while stirring with the two grams of agar, that's three quarters of a cup of liquid, and then afterwards we pipetted our liquid into cold oil. Did you mention sugar? Oh no, we added sugar and green food dye. Yeah, a little bit because you just get the nice colour colour green. So now we have our mojito. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go first? We laughing for. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> have you had any? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice, but it's very strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way they go flying up into your mouth. It's like someone firing, someone firing a BB gun in your mouth, isn't it? Well, not that painful, I hope. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a hmm. really good flavour, though. That is a real. Um, well, we can hear the rum as well. That is a real mm. mojito. That is really good. Yeah, it's a good recipe, actually. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I got a suck again and fired up. Anyway, I'll let you finish that. So, um. <laughs> well that's it really, so, that, so this is the last of it, there's no more trailers after that. Have you mentioned the tapioca? Oh yeah, tapioca, I should really I clarify, we send bubble tea, and classic bubble tea is with uh, tapioca. We haven't done tapioca, we've actually done balls of juice, we've taken the, Amber has explained how we made the, solidify the outside of the balls of juice. So in this example we've got balls of juice of uh, mint and lime. Mm -hmm. And last time we did cranberry juice in cranberry apple tea. juice. So it's not the tapioca, it's actually the balls of juice. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's it, that's the end of the credits. Um, so you can, yeah. Go home. Yeah, you can go home now. <laughs> leave the we, cinema. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave the cinema while we drink our mojito. Take your rubbish with you. <laughs> yeah, take your rubbish with you. Anyway, thank you for viewing and um, yeah, mm. watch on. <laughs> that is weird, but I like it.